now that our project is set up, let's run the default project on an Android emulator. Head over to the device list in the menu bar and select the Android emulator that we created earlier. Once launched, go ahead and run the app using the green run button in the menu bar. Congratulations, you have been successfully able to run your first Flutter app. The app consists of a single screen with a toolbar at the top, two texts in the middle and a floating action button at the right bottom. Tapping on the floating action button updates the second text on the screen which shows the tap count. Notice that there is also a banner at the top right of the screen that says debug. We'll be talking about this in the next lesson. Let's look at the code for the default app. It can be a little overwhelming at first, but most of the lines in this code are comments that are there to help out someone with their first Flutter project. When we delete all the comments, we observe that the 111 lines of code come down to just 63. We'll be recreating the same default app from scratch in the lessons to come to get a clear understanding of the basics of Flutter.